I've had quite a few, from just feelings of a presence to a full-blown figure. Sometimes there are voices, sometimes it is dead silent. But the masked man was in another league of bone chilling. It started with me wake up to a deep-throated chuckling. Having been one of my later experiences of sleep paralysis, I knew immediately that it was that. I resigned myself to another sleepless creepy night when the door opened. A man stepped through in a mask as red as blood. The mask itself was demonic in nature with big under fangs like a boar's with unnatural outlandish twist and turns in the cheeks and a deep set wrinkled brow. But the worst part were the eyes. His violet serpentine eyes bulged out of the mask they looked like they were about to pop. He was wearing a rich colored brown robe with a hood pulled up covering the rest of his head, drawing all attention to the mask and those dreadful eyes. He pulled a squirming burlap sack behind him and he stopped when he got to the foot of my bed. He stared at me for a long moment and then reached in the back. One by one, he pulled everyone I had ever loved, cared about, or considered a friend. Each time he pulled them out he positioned them so I was looking directly into their eyes. And he took his hand, a gnaw bony thing, with skin drawn so tight it looked as if he had none at all, and drew his long sharp nail across their throat spilling torrents of blood at my feet. I had to watch the life drain out of the eyes of everyone I had ever truly known, and deep in those eyes I could terror mixing with pity in each and every one of them. And only after his bag was empty did he let it drop and he began walking around my bed. He stopped as he towered over me. Leaning down he reached to me and gently stroked my fave with his blood-stained nail. With his other hand he reached and pulled off his mask. I cannot honestly put it into words what I saw beneath that mask. It was an ever-changing face of horror. It twisted and squirmed and never remained still for long, and each facial reconstruction was more terrifying than the last. As I looked into his violet serpentine eyes, he spoke to me. I still remember the words well enough to quote them verbatim, but as they were profoundly disturbing and personal in nature, I do not care to repeat them to anyone. But the last thing he said was, Enjoy the time you have left, because soon your life will be mine, and your soul as well, and he said this his face finally settled onto a single form. It was my own face. My first experience was in junior high and has continued to sporadically occur throughout my life. I'm 25 now. The worst experience I've ever had happened after I graduated high school and moved into my grandfather's old house after he passed. I had a couple of roommates who were out and I decided to take an afternoon nap. I knew as soon as I shut my eyes what was going to happen but I never could have imagined how intense it would be. The music I had playing in the background began to morph until it was nothing but the sound of unknown voices screaming and crying in pain. I had fallen asleep on my side, facing a pair of doors leading into my walk-in closet which slowly began to creak open and give me a glimpse of complete darkness surrounding a pair of ruby eyes staring gleefully at me. As the doors continued to open inch by inch, the piercing cries intensified and I was able to pick out the word help being repeatedly screamed. I managed to jerk myself out of it just before the doors opened halfway and I wasted no time bolting out of bed to the safety of my front yard. Feeling the sun on my skin and seeing the neighbor's kids playing in the street had never felt so good. I used to get them quite a bit. I guess school was stressing me out. Graduated, high school, now. But most of mine were auditory slash sensory. I've never seen anything thankfully. I think the worst one that I experienced was when I was in bed laying on my side facing the wall with my back to the rest of the room. I have a queen bed so there was quite a bit of room left. This was towards the end of my sleep so like I wake up and I felt this terror wash over me and an indention next to me like something get onto the bed. I had a squeaky asterisk asterisk bed too so I heard that. 
I was absolutely terrified at this point just clenching my eyes shut and this thing is like hovering its face right by mine and I can feel it breathing on me. It only lasted a few minutes but felt like forever at the time. One of the worst things I've ever experienced. The brain is amazing. Everything else is creepy garbled voices and the feeling of something on you. I got to the point where if I felt it I would just wiggle my toes and fingers to get out of it. When I met my so he had mentioned to me that he would often wake up and see black shadows standing next to his bed or walking in his room. At this point I had never experienced sleep paralysis and I didn't know much about it but ever since he told me I have had roughly 20 to 30 occurrences. Ranging from simply waking up and not being able to move slash breathe, waking up on my left side facing the wall and feeling someone pull on my right shoulder, having the feeling someone is pulling me out of bed by my ankles or wrists, feelings of people in my room but beyond the range of what I can see because I can't turn my head, and the scariest one to date, I was sleeping with my so at my friend's house. We usually sleep on the floor but this time we got bed. I wake up and I can't move, I'm on my back. It's morning out so it's not dark, but I can hear this very deep voice talking very loudly and in what I can imagine to be Latin. I do not know any Latin but I have looked it up and it seems like that is the language that was being spoken slash yelled. The voice continues to get louder and louder until I pass out slash fall asleep. The worst part about this is that the same exact thing has happened twice. Same voice, same room. I can sleep anywhere in the house but in that room. I'm also very nervous to tell my friend, the homeowner, and his wife, for fear of freaking them out. I have started using an app called Sleep Cycle which is supposed to wake you up when you're out of REM, I think it has helped. I also believe that sleep paralysis happens to me when I am really tired and I wake up and go back to sleep too quickly. I used to get these a lot and for some reason they still happen while I sleep at my parents' house but luckily I haven't had one in my own house in my own bed. I even used to get them at my ex-boyfriend's house. I always feel an evil presence either floating over me or standing next to me. Always black and cloaked, the feeling they give me is the worst feeling I have ever felt. Like impending doom. Even if it happens while I am on my stomach it's like I can feel the shadow above my back and I know exactly what it looks like. I honestly thought for a long time I was just messed up and I had evil following me around and I wasn't sure why, that was the scariest part. Luckily surfing through Vice I saw that they had written an article about it and I realized I wasn't alone. It's always the worst when I feel in the clear and then as soon as I can get back to sleep I am right back in that place with the evil.